we are realigning our resources, you know, as we see fit. Philadelphia Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw says nearly 11 months into the job, and she's moving nonstop, working to make the city safer by pinpointing specific areas and expanding police coverage. When our crime numbers were the lowest, we not only just had a focused uh, effort throughout the city, but there were focused efforts in those areas citywide uh, where we knew those neighborhoods were driving crime. When I got here, we didn't have that same citywide coverage. She says they do now. In fact, last year, police arrested more people for illegally carrying guns. Problem is, as we get a lot of guns off the street, we're not seeing the convictions of folks arrested for these guns going in the same direction. The cases are being declined or withdrawn. You're arresting people for gun crimes. You're arresting the same people over and over and yes, over again? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. At Outlaw's request, the DA and the police departments have since started working together every week to find out why specific cases are being dropped and what they can do to get more convictions. There's a lot being done uh, behind the scenes, but the issue is that there's, we're so big, right? And there's, there's so much being done, and we don't have the ability to do everything in person. So, you know, you and I were talking about this. If someone's not physically sitting in the room, they won't know that it happened. So we are also working on how are we advertising the work that's being done. The biggest thing for us moving into 2021 is how do we keep our ear to the ground and maintain communication with our young people? I've done community meeting after community meeting. I've met with mother after mother after mother who've lost a child. And they say, look, these young people know what's going on. How are you communicating with them? So we are doing everything that we can to bolster the connectivity there. But at the same time, connectivity within the department has, at times, been challenging. As the first black woman to lead PPD and a transplant from the West Coast, she says some see her as an outsider. If I wasn't a first, I wouldn't in my second, third month be combating rumors that I was traveling back and interviewing in other places. Y you know what I mean? The, the, this, I, I wouldn't be having to address my hair or my nails or all these things about who I am that I can't change. I wouldn't be addressing rumors about me being on vacation when I'm sitting right here. So yes, I would absolutely say uh, I, I see actions and mannerisms and treatment as if I am an outsider based off of, again, not just every day having to feel like it's something else. There's noise, there's nuances, or there's rumors, or there's messaging that you wouldn't hear. Um, around someone that had either grown up in this department or in this city. Police officer. For her part, Outlaw says she's blocking out the noise and staying focused. That's part of the plan, too. I think we all have to recognize that these, these are just new times for everybody, and we're willing to, to work through it and be a part of it, and it's not going to be pretty. There's going to be missteps. There are going to be mistakes made, and we all have to work through it together. But at some point, we have to be willing to trust one another. And at some point, this is what I can't control, those naysayers are going to have to recognize that I got the job and I'm here. And tomorrow morning, starting at 4, Erin will have even more of her interview with Commissioner Danielle Outlaw, including more of her personal side, her thoughts during the protest this summer, and how she says being a mother impacts her decisions every day. That's tomorrow morning on NBC10 News from 4 to 7 a.m.